Welcome. This is Crimey Queen. If you are joining us for the first time, this is the channel where we get excited about love. This is where we ignite that which dwells from within us, that which comes alive, makes us smile, makes us laugh. Hence, we say the crimson light is live. Okay, so the crimson light is what makes us smile, makes, makes us come alive. Okay. So, I'm continuing these presentations. This is um, on hands. I would like to be able to um, put all these um, together on hands because I feel that getting to know the real function, it's not knowing just all it's not only knowing, but it's getting to understand why we do what we do. That concerns me. And that was um, key for me, for healing, for instance. Now talking about healing, the hands, of course. We know that's where the healing is, the hands and the mouth. But that's what Christ healed with. He healed, of course. There was this. There was one um, particular. I um, I think it was blind Barnabas. So I may not have pronounced this right, but I think Christ had mixed peat with sand or ashes or something like this to restore his sight. So there's the power of the mouth. Now we have done um, hand. For instance, which equals nine. So if you're new to numerology, so this is eight, one, five, four. We add all these digits together because it stems from this template, which we call the sacrifice template. Everything we do here derives from the sacrifice of Christ, of course, because he said, whenever you do this, Eat of the bread, drink of the wine, you have eaten of my flesh and you have drunk of my blood. I think that was a way of assimilating the Christ energy within us. It's like you are what you eat, for instance. Oh, I like that. You are what you eat. So basically, if we have, or what you imagine too, if we have within us the capacity to understand or to inject the understanding of the power of Christ in that bread, in that wine, when we take of it, that's the Christ spirit within us. That's a way of looking at it. Okay. But back to, um, of course, um, the mouth, which is the words of course, Christ would speak and he would say, do you, for instance, when healing someone, he would say, do you believe I can do this? That was, that was a common question. Do you believe? Believe. I have got some presentations on the word believe. So basically, you come to Christ with your B, lie, E, well, believe has this lie in the middle, the word lie in the middle. So whether you are with limiting faith, perhaps the idea of believe enables you to increase that faith. Okay. So there's the one function of the mouth. Of course, the mouth is so powerful. We see that we can taste with our mouth, we speak with our mouth, we yawn with our mouth, um, we breathe through our mouths as well. So there is, that's another thought. Um, it'd be interesting to see how many things we do with the mouth. And so far, I think I have counted four, four things, which is pinnacle, like your north, south, east, and west, all representing the four elements. Okay, let's not stray too much. Um, but mouth, let's do mouth, M-O-U-T-H. So this is eight, two, three, six, four. This is 10. 19 and 4, that would be 23. I like 23. 
This is 23 here. It was 32 before, and now I turn it. I can, that's the thing about being creative. You can just move things around. So 23, 2 plus 3 is 5. So this is hand and mouth. Now, so often, as I say, we would mention uh, in my previous um, presentation, we would say, oh, I'm living from hand to mouth. Because basically, we want to be more expressive. We want to be able to open up. If we are living from hand to mouth, we would be like this. We are like this constantly. It's like saying we are occupied only with this part as well. We are not expanding. We are not being as creative as we ought to be. Okay, so there's the expression. But... um. One of the things that I want to, of course, the mouth, let me just elaborate on the mouth as well. This is the number five, Eve, and I would like to make reference to this, Mother Eve we have here is five, is the mouth. Mother Eve was the one who ate of the fruit, the apple. Apple, when we do the numerical value in terms like this, would come to five, and of course, eat of the apple. So there was all the senses activated here. This is another thing that I really want to um, concentrate on, how we can use our senses and, and condense our senses, for instance, when we are... Um, even visualizing, bring our senses together. Perhaps an apple would be a very good thing to begin with. Have a crunch on an apple. Crunch, I like that. And there we have the sound. So we have the spirit of sound here, crunching an apple. We taste it. We also have the um, sensations of um, feeling, the touch. And we can also see, so we have the eyes that stimulates our senses as well. So basically we are engaged in all of those um, activities when we, uh, when we are really, oh, I'm just thinking of the knock on the door as well. So when we are um, tasting, we are or having something and our hands as well, so hand to mouth. So basically, this is how Mother Eve was able to really open her eye because all the senses were engaged. This is what has been passed on to us if we are able to make sense of this and um, perhaps just as an exercise, meditate on an apple, what's happening with our senses while we are engaged in eating? Just to observe that. Okay, hands on mouth. All right. So I am grateful and thankful that I had the opportunity to do this. In fact, I'm just about tasting an apple. I can hear it crunching. I can see the redness and shiny um, part of it. I can see the um, pips inside. I can... Um, taste it as i say and and the sensations so join me on the next presentation where i am going to um, elaborate on the number nine with hand five and nine with the hands of course thank you okay do like and share and subscribe and um, of course because we are doing a new thing we are planting new seeds so stay ignited and join me again and let me thank you for watching namaste